Jackson, and I'm having a bad hair day. Excuse me. Uh, Steve Jackson with The Drive, Monday through Friday, 3 to 6 on KSRO. It's an honor to be here. I'm a lifelong Democrat and proud to be part of this today. I was going to try and memorize this opening, but I couldn't, and I'm looking at it, and I like it so much, I'm just going to read it. Okay? Nice. Welcome to the first and hopefully the last annual online Zoom telethon music festival fundraiser extravaganza. Today we're going to be bringing you a really great show. We've got uh, all sorts of uh, famous guests, as my producer Mike DeWald said yesterday. 80% are Drive Hall of Famers and the other 20% will be soon. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we've got uh, sitting congressmen, activists, great political speakers, some wonderful music from one of my favorite bands, uh, Mr. December, who have appeared many times on our show playing music. This is all to raise money, of course, for the Sonoma County Democratic Party at perhaps the most important time in our history. The Trump Republicans, good grief, they're attempting to take control of power again. Uh, our country standing in an abyss. I like that line. It's up to Democrats to stand up, pull ourselves back from the edge. That's what this is all about, doing what we can do at this time in history. We've got to remember years from now, we don't want to be saying, ooh, we should have done something. We're trying to do something. We're trying to chip in, and we need to help out and uh, push the needle just enough to make this country a better place for all. Whoever wrote this, good job. That would be Mr. Ramey. Alan Ramey. Hey, buddy. Uh, all right, and now... To kick things off, it's my pleasure to introduce Santa Rosa City Councilman and one of my fill-in guest hosts. He's going to be singing the national anthem. Chris? <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. He's going to be leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I still want to hear him sing it, but... Oh, no, excuse me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, of the United States, States of America, America and, and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. all. Someday. Someday, indeed. Okay. Uh, so, Chris, did you ever find out who's running against you in the council? Not yet. <laughs> it's <laughs> the unknown campaigner. She'll be wearing a paper bag on her head, I guess. I don't know. Sorry. I used to do on a radio show that where I generally make people laugh. <laughs> Let me introduce to you, to get this fundraiser started, we'll present the chair of the Sonoma County Democratic Party, my friend Pat Sabo. She's made her presence felt since she took over the leadership of the local party in 2018. She's held the gavel as the Democrats send out hundreds of postcards and made hundreds of calls into red districts. She held the gavel while the party published our community, I'm sorry, pushed, make that pushed our community toward a more progressive future. Please welcome Chair Pat Sabo. Hi, Pat. Hey, Steve. Thank you so much for doing this and being here. It's it, our, it is so my appreciated. Uh, I think what you're witnessing here is uh, kind of the ability of the Democratic Party to um, look at whatever the situation is and adjust to it, and that's where we're at. Traditionally, we would be doing a barbecue fundraiser, and obvious, for obvious reasons, we're not there. So we've had a, a large number of people who have uh, come together and said, we need to raise money, we're doing so much in these headquarters, um, and we need to keep it going, particularly this last 66-day um, stretch, and we know how vital the uh, next 65, 66 days are going to be. So um, appreciate everyone out there, you're tuning in, and uh, we're asking you to contribute to um, the local party so that we can continue doing what we do. At this point, I would like to introduce our first um, speaker, and um, he's known to all of us. First guest represents the, uh, California's fifth congressional district, he was first elected in 1998 and is currently a member of the House Committee on Ways and Means. 
He's chairman of the Select Revenue Measures Subcommittee. And in the wake of the school shooting in Newton, Connecticut, Congressman Thompson was named chair of the House Gun Violence Prevention Task Force. In 1990, he was the first Vietnam veteran elected to the California State Senate. He served in combat with the U.S. Army as a staff sergeant platoon leader with the 173rd Airborne Brigade, where he was wounded and received a Purple Heart. Please welcome Congressman Mike Thompson. Hi, I'm Congressman Mike Thompson. Welcome to Demo Palooza, a great virtual event to help raise money for our great local Democratic candidates. This is the most important election in our lifetime. We have got to come together and make sure we change the leadership in our great country. The man who's there now has taken us on a terrible, terrible turn. He's hurt us. He's hurt our country, he's hurt our standing in the world, and he's hurt our democracy. We're going to elect Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to replace him, and we're going to get things back on track. And we need to have good Democrats at every level to make sure that we're successful. So thank you for being here, and thank you for helping. Joy Sterling, thank you for putting this all together. It's a great event, and I know we're gonna have fun, and I know we're gonna be successful in November. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Congressman Mike Thompson. By the way, you can hear him on our radio show, The Drive, almost every week. Now we're gonna bring on another Congressman who is with us every week. We call it Mondays with Jared. He's, uh, such a, a wonderful dude and uh, such a great congressman. And every week when he's on with us, uh, we learn a lot. We get to talk about uh, the inside of what's going on in the House and in Washington. He's uh, been a wonderful uh, elected official here in Sonoma County for a long time, a state assemblyman and, of course, now congressman. Uh, please welcome our good friend and yours, Congressman Jared Huffman. Jared? Hello, Sonoma County Democrats. I hope you're safe and healthy. Big thanks to the Central Committee for making sure we all stay engaged. As tough as these days are right now on all of us with the pandemic and the fire and everything else, we should take heart because after four years of fighting this disastrous Trump presidency, we're just a few weeks away from being able to take our country back. And we know that this election includes all the usual issues and policy differences that we care about, but the soul of this country is also gonna be decided in this election. We're gonna find out if we still have the rule of law, if we can hang on to the democratic institutions that have held our republic together for 233 years. Things like the separation of church and state, which protect real religious liberty and make sure we don't become a theocracy. We're going to find out if we still value basic things like decency and honesty. Now, if you witnessed the Republican National Convention last week, uh, you saw their election strategy. It is to reject an alternate reality where the pandemic's going fine, the economy is booming, uh, where the 22 million job losses and 180,000 people dead from COVID-19, that's all China's fault. Biden is a socialist. Only Trump can protect you from the crime and chaos that'll soon be coming in to your neighborhood. All of that is lies and bunk, but it's a clever strategy because they don't lose any votes with their base. Their base doesn't mind the lies. And they know they can't convince Democrats and critical thinkers. So what they're going to do is try to confuse and disorient and discourage. They want our voters to be so disgusted with the nastiness of this election that they tune out and give up especially when they throw a bunch of voter suppression into the mix. So that's where we come in. Our job in this election is to make sure every single voter, especially our Democratic base, finds a way to vote safely and that their votes are counted. And Sonoma County Democrats are stepping up, making calls, sending postcards, donating whatever they can 
thank you for doing your part. Look, the disaster of Donald Trump is obviously part of our motivation, but there's a positive energy that should be driving us too. If we can pass this decency test, this democracy test, we can emerge from this dark time as a much better country. We can have a coherent science-based national plan to beat the pandemic, an ambitious economic recovery that lifts people out of poverty and builds back better. We can finally honestly address the systemic racism that's festered in this country way too long. And we can quickly and boldly confront the climate crisis, seizing the opportunities that are right in front of us and making sure that we keep faith with future generations who deserve a livable planet. I could not be more proud to be a Democrat and to be working with you in this historic election to deliver a decisive victory in the weeks ahead. Let's get this done. Thank you very much, Congressman Huffman. And uh, hey, we got some good news already. We're just about 10 minutes into this uh, fundraiser. And if you can see behind me here, uh, Joy Sterling's holding up. We currently have $2,300 in donations. People, let's keep it coming. We've got a long way to go, but together we can get there. Back at you, Mr. Jackson. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna do our first musical guest of the show today. This guy's great. He works in Northern and Southern California. He's a freelance composer, producer, violinist. He's performed with notable artists, including T-Pain, ow, Mako, L. King, and I know him from the local band Pomplamoose, who uh, have recorded many videos in my 40-year uh, comedy partner's living room. He just adores them. That's Blair Hardman, Zone Recording, Katati. I know he's watching, so I thought I'd throw that in. Uh, he's toured nationally. He, he was raised right here in Sonoma County and attended the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. He graduated from the UCLA. The UCLA? That sounds like an old guy, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the UCLA, isn't it there, Mike? <laughs> uh, he graduated from UCLA, summa cum laude, with a BA in music composition. He's really talented and we're great and lucky to have him on today, Gabriel Wheaton. Gabriel?
Welcome back to Demopalooza on this fine Sunday afternoon. I'm Steve Jackson with The Drive at KSRO. Uh, Pat Sabo is my co-host over here. And there's prizes that are going to be given out today. Uh, can you talk about that, Joy? I, I would love to talk about that. The first 50 people who put in $100 will get a lawn sign. Uh, just came in on Friday, so these are extremely valuable. They are hot off the press. This is well worth the price of admission. This is Biden-Harris Harris. lawn sign. Absolutely. Yes. Pick up They're one. right yeah. behind us here. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. They have stakes. They are absolutely the most gorgeous thing you ever could put on your front lawn. And I am hoping to put this on the front lawn of the White House. <laughs> Amen to that, sister. I'll be right there with you, Joy. <laughs> Our next guest is uh, a regular on my radio program, too. In fact, he was just with us on Friday. He's representing the third Senate district of California. And he's done so much in the time he's been a state senator. He works on improving public education, protecting seniors and the environment. And he's one of the most prolific legislators in Sacramento. 67 laws in the past five years. Before his election to the Senate, he represented the fourth assembly district uh, and before that, he was on the Napa County Board of Supervisors. A good friend, a great man. Here's State Senator Bill Dodd. Hello, Sonoma County Democrats. Boy, I'm so sorry that we couldn't be together today at the annual barbecue. But we all know this summer has been quite different. Millions are without a job, workers and small businesses are stuck between safety and income, and Mitch McConnell refuses to pass the HEROES Act. The House did its job and threw a lifeline to struggling people. As Speaker Pelosi said, Trump and his GOP buddies just don't give a damn. They refuse to even hold a hearing on the John Lewis Voting Rights Act and are simply ignoring the voices of millions in our streets. Now the president is playing games again with relief money for wildfires. Enough is enough. You know, it didn't have to be this way. The Obama-Biden administration had a pandemic plan. They listened to experts and weren't afraid of Fox News. They had heart and empathy. But we have a chance to bring that all back. We have a chance in November to build back better. I proudly endorsed Kamala Harris on day one and was in, in Oakland at her kickoff. When she left the race, I endorsed Vice President Biden. I will do whatever is needed to get them in the White House, and they need your help too. You are all the super volunteers that fuel winning campaigns, and your efforts absolutely make a difference. You did it in 2018, and we need you again this year. We need all your energy and creativity, and I know you won't let America down. Well, thank you all very, very much, and stay safe. I'm Steve Jackson. Pat Sabo is with me and some other great folks, including uh, and a special thanks to Joyce Sterling, who I know works so hard, along with a lot of other people here, to make this thing happen. Our next guest grew up in Santa Rosa, graduated from Santa Rosa High School. He started playing guitar at a young age, never put it down. He performs both solo and with local bands like Mojo Filter, Dysfunct, I love that name, and Fuego Loco, I love that name too. Uh, he's known for performing a variety of originals, covering people like Richie Val Valens, The Beatles, Prince, Sublime, and more. He'll be joined today by his bandmate and good friend Mr. Jeff Poncia as they mix it up with a little musical uh, medley. and. He sent a quote for us to read, which I shall read verbatim. He says, I've always believed music is the universal language that brings people together. And right now, that is more important than ever. I'm delighted and excited to be able to, be, uh, to support and be part of Demopalooza. Ladies and gentlemen, Carlos Rincon. The 
Let's go Biden-Harris 2020. Make sure you get out there and vote because it's more important than ever right now. Welcome back to Demapalooza. <clears throat> you know, it's so important because better leaders nationally and locally is what we need. And if you're as appalled as I am with what's going on in Washington, unbelievable. Now's our chance to effectuate change. The local Democratic Party plays a critical role, so please donate right now. And here's what we got, Joy. I don't know if all of you can see that, but we're at $3,590. Thank you, everyone out there, and let's keep this drive alive. Thank you for saying my show's name again. Oh, I, hey. I was going to say, you know, I, I don't mean to keep saying my show's name, but yes, I do. Well, I think so there there's something go. subliminal going on here. <laughs> Our next uh, speaker is chair of the California Democratic Party. He was elected last summer amongst many candidates, 
and he came out on top. He's from a labor organizing background and uh, certainly a great Democrat. He served as the California political director in 2008. Now he's chair of the California Democratic Party. And another guy who's been on my show, The Drive. He's now chair of the California Democratic Party. Here's Rusty Hicks. Rusty? So Nome County Democrats, this is Rusty Hicks with the California Democratic Party. It's great to be with you all the way from Pasadena, California. I first just want to uh, send our thoughts, our prayers, our well wishes to all of those that have been impacted uh, by these devastating fires uh, that we have seen all across uh, California and send uh, our gratitude uh, to the firefighters who have helped um, stem the tide uh, in many ways, in a very real way, of climate change. What we've seen is that, yes, climate change is real, that healthcare is a human right, that black lives matter. What we've experienced in this country is a, a pandemic on top of a pandemic on top of a pandemic. And it makes it clear that we need, desperately need a change in this country. We need to take back our democracy. We need to save our democracy. And in 65 days, over the course of the next 65 days, we've got the opportunity to do just that. I think we've got the ticket to make it happen. Joe Biden and our very own Kamala Harris, not just to take back the White House, but to take back the Senate, to keep the House of Representatives in the hands of Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and to keep California blue not just in the legislature, but at the local level as well. And so I'm so incredibly grateful to grassroots leaders like you, the Sonoma County Democrats, our chair, Pat Sabo, uh, our uh, leadership who have brought us all uh, virtually together uh, today. I'm grateful for your leadership. I'm grateful for your work. Uh, thank you for keeping this party strong. Keep up the great work. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. This is Demma Palooza for the uh, Sonoma County Democratic Party. And think about this, uh, we're raising money for local campaigns, which is so important. Raising today uh, money for the Sonoma Democratic Party. Between the wildfires and the pandemic, it's been hell. And lots of small donations, though, can make a big difference. So whatever you can afford, please look at the blue donation link below the viewing screen on uh, YouTube. And uh, w let me ask you, Pat Sabo, what is the local party doing these days? Uh, thank you for asking. Yeah. Um, besides have, doing this, raising besides money. Besides doing this, yeah. raising money, right. Okay, so we've opened this headquarters and this headquarters was opened um, pre-pandemic. Um, and um, we signed a, a year lease, so we're into that. Even though we could not be open, particularly uh, when the pandemic was at its, you know, not that it's any better, um, but we know a little bit more on, on how we can um, be limited in what we do. We have continued to do virtual um, phone banking, texting, um, postcards. Out of this office alone, we have done over 75,000 postcards. So these are people that want to do something. And these postcards have gone, uh, basically they deal with state um, candidates. Mm -hmm. Example would be uh, Elizabeth Betancourt, who is running for assembly district, um, to congressional seats here in California. Example would be Christy Smith, um, to the national election. Texting is going on Saturdays for the Biden-Harris campaign. If people want to get involved, they need to call our office at 575-3029. Tell us that they want to volunteer. We will put them into our database. Mm -hmm. They will receive weekly updates with a um, array of activities that they can participate in, depending upon what it is they would prefer doing. So if you, if you don't want a phone bank, you might want a text. If you don't want a text, you might want a postcard. 
All of that is available. And of course, we are also assisting uh, local candidates. If um, candidates that we endorse, we um, help these candidates in preparing for their grassroots campaigns and kind of guide them through and give them assistance in how they can get out um, the vote. And particularly during these times, as I said, we are not in traditional times. We know that. So campaigns, as usual, are thrown out the door. And I think that's one of the things that we as Democrats pride ourselves on is our ability to adjust, reevaluate, and continue to move forward. So um, to do all of this, we obviously have to have money. And that's what this is about. Look for the blue donation link below the viewing screen on YouTube. Okay, time for some more music. The, this is a great band. They're Sebastopol based. We call them funk fueled rock band. And uh, I'm a big fan. One of their members serves on the Sonoma County Democratic Party. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a band that cares about what happens in politics. And we're very happy to have them here today. Please welcome Burnside. Again, it's Demo Palooza 2020, raising money for the Sonoma County Democratic Party and beyond. Our next guest has a very unique background. She grew up on her family's farm, became a business owner and mayor. She was elected to the 4th Assembly District. This district is huge. 
runs from Santa Rosa to Sacramento, San Pablo Bay, up to Mendocino National Forest. And she puts a lot of miles on her car. I'll say that much. Um, since I screw up names so much on our radio show, uh, in fact, our producer director today is Chris Smith. I think I called him Chuck Smythe, but <laughs> either way, uh, my producer, Mike DeWald from KSRO, he's pretty good with pronouncing names, so I'm going to let him take this one. Welcome, Assemblywoman Cecilia Aguiar Curry. Very good. Nice. Did you get that, Chuck? <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Cecilia Aguiar Curry. I'm your assembly member for the 4th District, and I represent portions of Sonoma County. I'm thrilled to be invited today to Demo Palooza. Um, let's go, Democrats. Let's be strong. Um, let's make sure we elect um, all of our Democratic friends and particularly our presidential uh, candidate, Joe Biden. I want to start by first by giving my condolences to all the families that are out there that are struggling with the fires as well as with COVID. Um, we, uh, we are strong Democrats and we have to take care of our people. So again, I want to send my condolences to all of you. Um, as we know, 2020 has been a real challenge to all of us and particularly um, I've never seen anything like this, and many of you that are watching this haven't seen this as well. Um, this is the time for our party to be stronger, stronger than ever, and to unite, and to fight hard, and to make sure we get Joe Biden elected. Yeah! Um, cannot make the same mistake from four years ago. I challenge you to register to vote if you haven't already. I challenge you to ask your neighbors if they are registered. I challenge them to help them get to the voting places or get their vote in the mail. This year, every voter will receive a vote by mail ballot due to COVID-19. So please keep a lookout for that in your ballots and mailboxes and get them back and re get them back in the mail as soon as possible. Be sure to help your family to get registered and to vote. To check your voter, voter status, please visit the Secretary of State's website at where's my ballot dot sos dot ca dot gov we can do this show your love to the sonoma county dems with your donation please be generous uh, these are the times that we need even five dollars helps um, take the time to help our democratic uh, hard working clubs thank you so much and have a great day demo palooza Welcome back to Demapalooza. You know, critical times need good leaders. And there's never been a time when good leadership was more important. Our nation faces enormous challenges right now. We have a president whose every word in action makes things worse. To get through these times, we need the best possible leaders at all levels, nationally and locally help the local Democratic Party elect quality leaders by supporting your local party. So you can click the donate button right now. You can call the office and make a donation. That number again, area code 707-575-3029. And uh, I'd like to remind you that the first 100 donations that come in. Oh, look, Joy's got some new numbers for us here, in case you can't see. That is $6,842. Yeah. Yeah, now we're talking. And the first 100... <laughs> first 50 donors that give 100. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll get this right. First 50 donors that contribute $100 or more will receive a free lawn sign Biden-Harris. Biden-Harris. I will tell you right now. It's got a nice ring to, to does it, doesn't have it? it? I took mine home, <clears throat> started getting my door knocking. It was my neighbors wanting to know how they could get some. Right so on. I directed them right down here. 50. 50? 50 people, $100. Yeah. 50 giant Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Demapalooza 2020. Uh, I'm honored to introduce our next speaker. He's a great friend of mine, 
one of the most energetic humans I've ever known in my life. I tell him that all the time. What a dude. Uh, he is a third generation Northern Californian. Uh, as it says here, he's a local boy wonder. Started serving as a school board member when he was just 19. He insisted on rebuilding dilapidated schools in his hometown. And he went on to serve as a council member, mayor of Healdsburg, and a Sonoma County supervisor. He was elected to the state senate in 2014. He's been a local champion for all of us for so long. Let's get the energy from my man, State Senator Mike McGuire. Hey, Sonoma County Democrats, this is Mike McGuire, State Senator, and I hope this message finds you and your family safe and healthy. Uh, let's just be perfectly honest with each other. The last couple of weeks here in home have been challenging to say the least. Thousands have been on the run from the Wallbridge fire and hundreds, oh, yeah, I missed hundreds of families have lost their homes in Sonoma County and Solano and Napa counties. And uh, our hearts, our hearts go out to those who have lost everything. And I think you'll join with me that we're thinking about them today. But I got to say, there is nowhere else in the world that I would rather live than right here in Sonoma County. We are full of grit. We are resilient. And we, as a people, we shine when times are tough. And I know this time will be no different. And we layer these fires on top of a global pandemic where so many are struggling to stay healthy and thousands across our communities, they are struggling financially due to the economic fallout of the coronavirus. There's a lot going on right now here at home and across the world, but we can't lose sight of November. It's the most important election of our lifetime. And we need you now more than ever. We need you to invest in the Sonoma County Democratic Party. When you invest in the Sonoma County Democratic Party, you're investing in a Joe Biden presidency. You're investing in the efforts to take back the U.S. Senate and to be able to keep the U.S. House of Representatives. We know that you are hit up a lot right now for so many causes, but we need you to stand strong for our democracy. And we need you to support the Sonoma County Democratic Party and let's together dump Donald Trump. Thank you so much for joining us. Invest today to keep our democracy strong. It's Demapalooza 2020. Thanks for being with us. Uh, our next musician, are we ready for Ben? Yep. Okay. He's an alternative folk singer-songwriter right from here in Santa Rosa. He's done a lot in his career. He moved to L.A. in late 2016, and uh, he's got a self-produced EP of original content, and he'll be releasing his debut album soon. Please welcome Ben Greenberg. Hi there, my name's Ben Greenberg. I'm from Santa Rosa, California, and I'm a Democrat. This is a song of mine called What If. What if I still lived here? What if you did too? What if we got married Like they used to think we do? What if we were more than high school sweethearts? What if we had never grown apart? What if we had really broken in each other's hearts? What if we had held on to that spark? What if I still lived here? What if I had stayed for you? 
What if we had traded in our futures For something tried and true Instead of trying something new And what if we were lonelier together What if we had stayed and grown apart what if we both wanted something a little better? What if we had settled for a broken heart? For a broken heart? What if? What if? Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the event. It is Demapalooza 2020. Uh, you know, Pat, we forgot to thank Senator Mike McGuire for his video bit there. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're not perfect, and I'm a, I'm a radio guy for 48 years. I, you know, I don't. Well, you know, he was a former student of mine, so I probably will oh, you cool. know, hear this for a while. Yeah, well, we love Mike, as I mentioned, one of the most uh, energetic people I know. And talk about last year, because, of course, every year the Democratic Party in Sonoma County has their barbecue mm -hmm. where we raise money. Mm -hmm. Can't do that now. Nope. So explain what Mike did last year at the barbecue fundraising. Yeah, well, what he did was we knew, we, in anticipation of opening our headquarters and um, opening it early, earlier than we usually do, we knew that the cost would obviously escalate. So we asked the senator if he would do um, a raise the paddle at the barbecue. And of course, you know, that's right up his, his alley. That's his forte. So yeah. he stepped up and... Um, helped us bring in um, an additional uh, $5,000 to, you know, just right on the moment and um, made a huge difference to us. And I might point out, Mike McGuire is the only guy on the radio who calls me Mr. Jackson. You should hear what some of the people call me. Oh. It ain't Mr. Jackson. <laughs> Are we ready for my boys to perform? Okay, cool. I love these guys. Uh, Jimmy Horn on ukulele and banjo, Andy Tester on upright bass, Jesse Shanter on sax, Scott Nippelmeyer on trombone, and Marco D'Ambrosia on trumpet and melodica. We really love these guys, and they've performed so many times on our show on KSRO Live in the studio, and it's an honor to have them here. Just a, a un unique group of people and great, great people. The Sonoma County Roots Americana Band. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorites, Mr. December.
melody. to Demapalooza 2020. It's exciting to have our next guest not only right there with us, but soon on the video, on the streaming. And I know Pat Sabo knows her even better than I do, so I'm going to let you introduce her. Yeah, this is, this is incredible. Uh, you know, we are very privileged, very lucky. Um, she sits on the uh, Sonoma County Central Committee, so she is a colleague and I've worked with her, had the pleasure of working with her um, the last three years. Uh, she attended Yale University where she studied history and economics and then went into journalism. At 29, she was Deputy Bureau Chief for ABC Network News in Los Angeles. In 1985, she left ABC's hierarchy to join her family's winery and made headlines with her first achievement at Iron Horse. In November of 1985, the White House selected Iron Horse sparkling wine for the toast to peace at the first summit meeting with Mikhail Gorbachev in Geneva. She took up the reins as CEO at the start of 2006. She has served on the board of trustees at the Leakey Foundation for 10 years and is a member of National Geographic's Grosvenor Council. As chair of the California Democratic Party Rural Caucus, her passion projects include expanding broadband into rural communities and ensuring that all Californians have access to clean, reliable drinking water. Please welcome Joy Sterling. Yeah. Hello, Sonoma Democrats, and thank you so much for coming to our Demo Palooza. It is so exciting. I am speaking to you as the chair of the California Democratic Party Rural Caucus. Now more than ever, we need to pitch in and make sure that our Sonoma County Democrats are doing everything that we possibly can to get out the vote. The outreach is more important than ever. We know what's at stake, 
and your support will be so great. Please give. The Rural Caucus is a resource. I am also very proud to be a member of the Sonoma County Central Committee, and I can tell you it is a fantastic group of people, and it's taking care of so many of the issues that we in the rural communities feel are absolutely vital. First and foremost, it is the texting, the phone banking, the, the grassroots work that needs to be done, and the money you contribute now will help us get the job done. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Joy. And hello, Joy. <laughs> Here's our latest figure in donations. Yeah. $7,000, $7,190. Oh, people, you are so generous. Thank you so much. Let's keep that coming. Let's keep it rolling in. Once upon a time, it says here, three scruffy musicians played the 2018 Sonoma County Demo Democratic Headquarters uh, opening, and they played the uh, Sonoma County Democrats barbecue last year. Uh, a resistance-themed band called Planet Waves, and they've played on our show, too. I must point that out. Uh, they were husband and wife delegates, a humble lawyer. They, uh, then came the plagues, the, the fires, the dark clouds, etc. And they've got a, a great band going, and they've got a uh, backyard song to uh, perform for us, to fellow Democrats of Sonoma County. We the people are what they're calling themselves now. They are Kerry, Jim, Gabriel, Wheaton, Ralph Paterno, uh, Patrick Minifield, and Athena Wheaton. Uh, she's behind the camera on this one, and we shall uh, introduce them right now. We the people. One, two, three.
walk hand in hand Let's make this world of ours a good place to stand Let's work together Come on, come on, let's work together Now, now people Because together we will stand Every boy, girl, woman and a man I said together we will stand Every boy, girl, woman and a man Sorry. Hi. <laughs> How are ya? Uh, before uh, we get to Austin Delone, we're going to uh, move that aside for a minute. Where do you ca catch this guy? He's played with some of the biggest people in the world of uh, music, and it's going to be an honor to hear him today. Uh, we want to th uh, say thank you uh, to Jim and Carrie Wheaton. They're also delegates to the California Democratic Party, and they're very great community organizers. Pat Sabo, talk about how they can donate money to the Democratic Party in yeah. Sonoma County. Well, one of the things that we are, we are getting some messages here um, that some people are having a difficult time um, linking in. One of the things that you can do, please, call the office number here we, we have the setup and capabilities if you wish to donate and you're struggling uh getting onto the link if you give us a call we can take that donation reminder our office number 707-575-3029 and i believe our latest update did i see that at seven thousand seven thousand five hundred dollars Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, as we keep saying to you, we have so much that we have to do. We've got to take back this country. Amen to that. Uh, Chris, when are we do, are we ready for Austin? All right, I love this guy. He's played with, like I said, everybody so many uh, musicians and bands throughout uh, the country and the world. He currently lives with his wife in Mill Valley. Uh, I got to jam with him once. What a talented dude. He's worked with Elvis Costello, Commander Cody and the Lost Planet Airmen, and so much more. He's uh, just an amazing keyboardist and all-around cool guy. Please welcome Mr. Austin DeLone.
curtain is drawn and the curse it is cast. There's no one now will later be fast as the president now will later be passed. The order is rapidly fading and the 45th one now will later be last for the times they are. Welcome back to Demapalooza 2020. I don't even like saying 2020 anymore. Oh, it's yeah. just, it's been so horrible, but. I think most of us are ready to see it in the rear view mirror. Yeah, yeah I yeah, agree, I agree completely. So as you know, electing good people is what this is all about. So, um, Politically speaking, what bubbles is it? What is it that bubbles, you know, to the top? Good ideas, inspiration, and remembering to take yourself off mute really, really helps. Yeah, that can be important. So, Mr. Jackson, thank you for being the professional here. <laughs> Uh, please donate to Sonoma County Democrats today. Help us elect progressive politicians that will rep represent us and fight for the best policies. Social, economic, and environmental justice. Good jobs, a healthy, green-based economy, affordable housing, health care for all, clean water, and so much more. Please donate now. And thank you very much for having those same cares that we have. We are the Democratic Party. All right, here's another uh, guest uh, with us today who is always a guest on my radio show on KSRO. Before he was elected to the uh, California Assembly, he got his start in uh, politics on the Healdsburg Planning Commission. He served there for four years before winning a seat on the Healdsburg City Council where he served for eight years, two of those years as mayor. He's an amazing dentist. I have friends who used to go to him and they say this guy was the best dentist they'd ever been to. He had a successful family dental practice in Cloverdale for over 25 years. He's a nationally recognized expert in forensic dentistry and, dentistry, and uh, the designated forensic dentist for Lake, Mendocino, Napa, Sonoma, and Marin counties. Wow. Uh, he's a member of a national emergency response team. He was called to the World Trade Center after 9-11. He was called to New Orleans after Katrina. And he served as part of the emergency response team, helping to identify victims of the fires that devastated our communities. Please welcome the great Assemblyman Jim Wood. Hi, I'm Assemblymember Jim Wood, and I'm a proud Democrat. You know, we in California here have been fighting the Trump administration since he was elected, and it's time for them to go packing. This is absolutely the most important election of our generation, maybe of our lifetime. We have filed in California through the Attorney General almost 100 lawsuits against the Trump administration, things to protect clean air, clean water, worker protections, a woman's right to choose, who a person can marry. The list goes on and on. It's more and more critical now than ever before that we continue to elect Democrats from the top down. And no better place to start than with the presidency. If you have time, if you have a little bit of extra resources financially, the Democratic Party in Sonoma County will welcome your help and welcome your assistance. We need everything we can get. This is not just about California, this is about the nation. And as uh, Vice President Biden said, it's time to bring us out of the darkness and into the light. Please do everything you can to support local candidates uh, all the way up through the presidency. Um, we need your help more than ever. We can get this done. Thank you so much, Sonoma County Democrats. Let's get it done. We're back, sir. 
Oh, thanks for waking me up. <laughs> I'm old and cranky, as I often say on the radio. Um, do we know where we stand at this point? I, I'd like to, to just kind of throw it back Please out do. there. The Please fact do. that, um, as, as you know, we promised for the first 50 who would donate 100 or more a free lawn sign. Uh, my understanding is, and this came a few minutes ago, so it might be even more updated than what I'm about to give you, but uh, we only have 26 of those lawn signs remaining. Also, we have another little incentive out there. For the first 50 who donate $50, you will get a beautiful bottle of wine from Iron Horse or Ramey or Maramar Estate. So let's contribute. Be able to um, kind of enjoy your evening. Open up a nice bottle of wine and think about how you can help the Democratic Party the following day, whether it be texting or phoning or postcarding. Our next musical guest is a guitarist, improviser, composer, arranger, born and raised right here in Sonoma County. He's currently based in LA, where he works as a sideman, session player, collaborator, and band leader. Man, this guy's performed with some amazing artists, including Nels Klein, Mike Marshall, Robert Fripp, and the Orchestra of Crafty Guitarists. I love that name. Uh, Jack Kovacs, Lydia Luce. He also holds a degree in uh, studio guitar from USC. He's been mentored by musicians like Bruce Foreman, Brian Sutter, and the amazing Julian Lage. His current projects include leading the electric trio showcased on Building Blocks, as well as the Harmadelic String Band. I love these names. It's a quartet performing the music of Ornette Coleman on instruments mostly common, commonly associated with bluegrass music. Oh, I gotta hear this. I'm a huge Ornette Coleman fan and they're, they're doing bluegrass instruments. That is so cool. Please welcome Ethan Sherman.
This is Pat Sabo. I'm Steve Jackson. I hate my hair. <laughs> Thank you. But Gavin Newsom's allowing salons to be open beginning tomorrow. So uh, maybe I'll get a little help. Uh, Pat Sabo is uh, very close uh, to our next guest, Elizabeth Betancourt, so uh, go for it. Yes, Elizabeth is seeking office in California's Assembly District 1. Um, this covers 25,000 square miles in the northwest corner of California, running from the Oregon border to the Truckee Tahoe region. You know, one of the reasons that it, it, you, you might ask, why is Elizabeth Betancourt then speaking to the Sonoma County Democrats? Elizabeth is an example of uh, a person that we are trying to help turning a red county, red area district blue. We have been helping her out of this office. We have done postcarding for her in uh, the primary. And uh, we actually currently, I, I see a stack over here. We've got an additional 1,000 postcards that we're going to be getting out for her within the next week. So an example of somebody that your money is going to help. And uh, one of the reasons that we're very proud and pleased to present uh, our next guest, Elizabeth Battencourt. Sonoma County Democrats, you are champions. I'm Elizabeth Betancourt, and I'm running for Assembly District 1, way out here in Northeastern California. Our district is so rural that it's the largest in the state, 25,000 square miles. Precinct walking in Assembly District 1 is usually a challenge because it's so rural, and this year, of course, it's nearly impossible. But we have to get out there and educate voters. Data and polling tell us that when voters hear about me, they vote for me. That's including soft Republicans and our no party preference neighbors. That's why we're investing big this year in a mail program to be able to reach people in their home on issues they care about. Wildfire, education, health care, and simply showing up for each other. You have shown up for me and my campaign over the last year. You're on your way to writing nearly 5,000 postcards. You've contributed stamps and cold hard cash and made me and all of us here on California's frontier deeply grateful to be part of a party that works together. We can't do this alone. The wolves are at the door and we have to pull together. November's election is unlike any in my lifetime. And I'm betting that's true for all of us. The importance of renewing our pact as a society, taking care of each other, investing in the underrepresented, and ensuring that all of us have what we need to be the best version of ourselves in this world. That pact has a presence now that none of us thought about, at least not deeply, before November 2016. We are now, though the action in the streets, the action online, and the actions you are taking to support a candidate 200 miles away, representing a po population vastly different than your own, those actions mean something. Those actions mean everything. Your actions mean that we, all of us, are vested in where we're going as a state and a nation, together. And together is what it's gonna take to beat back those wolves. So please support your Sonoma County Democrats. We need you and we need the work you do together for all of California. So let's do this thing together. Okay, we're back. Demapalooza 2020. Uh, Pat Sabo's with me and uh, I guess we're going to hear a flamenco, a great flamenco guitarist. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Look. All right. $8,317 for the Sonoma County Democratic Party. And here I got a deal. Uh, my radio show, The Drive on KSRO, is number one in the afternoons. 
Uh, we have 80,000 listeners uh, every week and about 30,000 a day. I don't know, I don't do the math, but somehow it adds up. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. If uh, you'd like to come on and talk about anything, be it your business or the election or the Democratic Party, donate 500 bucks and you're on the drive on KSRO. We'll uh, make the arrangements with my producer, Mike DeWald. So donate right now. Here's Hi. another good friend of mine who's on the show all the time from the 10th State Assembly District. He's, he's a beautiful dude. And I mean, you know what I mean. It's not that I'm gay, but it, there's nothing wrong with that, as Seinfeld used to say. Uh, he's a great man. And he encompasses, his di district encompasses uh, Marin and Southern Sonoma counties. He's previously worked on the San Rafael City Council. He ran for his current seat in 2012. My friend, Assemblyman Mark Levine. Hi, Sonoma Democrats, it's Mark Levine. I am in Sacramento. Unfortunately, I'm in session this Sunday afternoon and unable to join you live. Uh, that doesn't really matter anymore, right? Um, hey, this is a tough year and we're familiar with tough years. It feels like each year we're outmatched and, uh, and up for a big fight. But I know that this family is up to this fight and we have a lot on the line this year. Um, we can get Joe and Kamala in the White House. We can turn the Senate Democrat. We can work to make sure we retain the House. Uh, there are so many important things for us to do uh, that we can't just fall back and feel bad for our situation. Uh, we can continue the fight and we can win this fight. I also just want to say to everyone who's been on the front lines during the COVID pandemic, thank you. Thank you for helping us continue living our lives. For all the teachers who are helping to welcome our kids back to school, who have poured their heart into changing their curriculum so that people can learn uh, through distance, uh, thank you for that. For every first responder, firefighter, law enforcement, keeping our community safe right now, I wanna extend all of my gratitude to you, my hope that you can be safe as we're fighting these fires. Thank you, Sonoma Democrats. We can do this. Okay, thank you, Mark Levine, State Assemblyman. Now folks, as you know, and you agree completely, we need caring leaders at this time. I'm saying caring leaders. Our nation's struggling under the impact of a pandemic, being torn apart by racism, violence, we need great leadership more than ever at this point in time. At every level, we need smart, decent, compassionate leaders in office, and you will all agree with that. You can help to support people like that by supporting the Democratic Party. Are we going back to the flamenco we're, guy? We're, let's, let us, let's take a little <laughs> bit of a change here, okay? All let's, right. let's do something a little different where we're not gonna have the, the singing, but we will do something, we'll have a little dancing involved with the guitar playing, so oh, the little flamenco music. I love with flamenco the, dancing. Flamenco dance, it's that great. Is so cool. It's wonderful. Okay, here's flamenco ness.
It is Demapalooza on this fine Sunday afternoon. Got another performer. He's a San Francisco native singer-songwriter. And this guy's cool. He's really combined San Francisco's beatnik past with its high-tech future. You're going to like this. He's been considered a vocal prodigy, and he de developed an early interest in Baroque classical music. Toured international in choirs. By the age of 11, dig this, by the age of 11, he was singing for the San Francisco Opera. He's toured all over, eventually landed in L.A. and worked with some of the big uh, folks down there. Now he's back in San Francisco. Please welcome, this is unique stuff, Andrew St. James. It's called uh, Los Angeles Revisited.
sorry. Hey, welcome back. Seriously, it's Demapalooza. Uh, and we've got another performer right now. A beatboxer, MC, internationally renowned for his dizzying versatility, widely invented rhythm patterns, and he can transform his voice into any instrument or personality. Uh, he's a member of the Many Elements Beatboxing Trio, and he's been all over the place doing his shows, and we're very excited to have him on now. Siz Siz I knew I'd get this right. Sizzagy. Thank you. Beatbox. Sizza G Beatbox. Here you go. Let's all give a round of applause to the folks who have been uh, donating today for the Democratic Party. That was uh, SZA G Beatbox. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, look, we need $400 to make it to 1000 10000 I mean 10000 <laughs> I told you I'm old and cranky and tired. Uh, 10000 people. So come on, give it up. Come on. And I want to thank uh, my producer for 12 years, Mike DeWald. He donated $500, and now he gets to be on the drive. <laughs> Mike, uh, didn't I remind you that you're on the drive every day, and they pay you? But thank you anyway. Uh, we're at 9635 So <laughs> let's get it to 10000 I can't believe I said $1,000. Had me, had me worried there for a minute. Never could do math. Yep. yep. All right, our next guest is uh, a, an, an amazing man who's become a Drive Hall of Famer. First time he was on the show, I just, he left and I was just hypnotized and, and uh, so impressed. 
He is the president of the Sonoma County chapter of the NAACP. He's worked in social services most of his life. Uh, he is now forming a nonprofit to help the black community. He helped advocates uh, to revitalize the local NAACP chapter, which had been declining before he jumped in. But he's really done an amazing job, and he's an unbelievable speaker and human being. And just a, I, I say, Mr. Reuben Scott, we love you. I'm Reuben Scott, the current president of the Santa Rosa Sonoma County and AACP. Today's social climate for some, is unlike anything they have ever experienced. And unfortunately, for so many of us, it's part of our daily existence. I'm here today as a Democrat, but first, I'm here as a black man, as well as a father of a black man and as a black woman. And I know the change that I am asking for and seek require some of you to step out of your comfort zones and into the next generation of social leaders. I am challenging you to exercise your right to vote for change. I call for you to vote in the way of social justice, social equity, rights for all minorities, including the LGBTQ community, and voting for all people our lives do matter, and we do need your vote. I would also like to take a moment to appreciate those elders who started the movement locally, such as Platt Williams, Diane Foster, Dave Johnson, and so many others we have lost, but the momentum they created shall continue through our actions. Please stand with us by unifying and donating to the Sonoma County Democratic Party as well as the Sonoma County NAACP. God bless you. It's Demapalooza. Here we go. Hey, welcome back. So our next guest grew up on the Hawaiian Islands and currently resides in Sonoma County. He's a local artist that has decided to help our campaign. Please welcome David R. Polo. Ocean, waiting for them doors to open. But every time you looked at me, I acted like I didn't see. I was just being shy. Thoughts of love on my mind. I know, I know, I know you're smiling. Beautiful face, those eyes aren't lying. Straight to my heart, there's no denying love. Comfort in each other You and I both easy lovers Like Gemini's got that style Kick back and let's get wild Laugh till we can't no more Rolling up on that floor But my with girls ain't the same Hawaii love in the rain Living up that fantasy Take me where I wanna be Like sunburn in the same Body surf to we came Rode up on the beach Ocean spray all over me And I love, I love, I love these islands People are good, yeah, 
your people be smiling Warm to the touch, the sun is shining on us Wow, that was cool. I do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, David R. Polo, a local artist. Uh, grew up in the Hawaiian Islands, now resides in Sonoma County. Pretty amazing stuff. Uh, I'm ready. You ready? Okay. Bring her on. I love our next guest. She is uh, such an amazing woman. Began her life working with a job, her working life, working uh, with a job in the Democratic Party. She has worked as president of her family's construction firm, and then she became appointed to be the U.S. Ambassador to Hungary by President Obama in 2010. And she was elected California's Lieutenant Governor in 2018, the first woman to ever reach that position. She is with us on our show, The Drive on KSRO, every, other, uh, every second Tuesday of the month, which would be a week from this Tuesday for the next appearance. Uh, she's just, she blows me away and I just love talking to her on the radio. She is California Lieutenant Governor Eleni Kunalakis. Hello, Sonoma County Democrats. This is Eleni Kunalakis, and I am so happy to be with you for Demopalooza. This election, as I'm sure you've already heard multiple times, is the most important that we have ever faced. And even though we're going to be working virtually, there is so much that we can still do as advocates and activists to make sure that our voices are heard and that we help mobilize Democrats and anyone else across this country who feels the way we do, which is that Donald Trump has got to get out of the White House as soon as possible. We have the opportunity to vote him out through a free and fair election. And we're all gonna be working very hard to make sure that everybody's vote counts. And in particular, that we do everything possible, not just to elect Joe Biden as president of the United States, but to help elect Kamala Harris, our very own US Senator, as the first woman and the first woman of color to ever be on a major party ticket. She is going to be a fabulous vice president and ensure that California values, which we know have created this great economy and great society, will be able to be heard and understood all over the beautiful United States of America. Thank you. We're back to Demo Palooza. Okay, Joyce Sterling, what do we got so far? We're just a few minutes away from saying ta ta. $9,735. Oh, come on. Let's go. Let's hit that $10,000. let us go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Let's, let's, let's uh, try to come back after our next guest and have that say 10,000. What do you say? I think so. Yeah. Look at 9,735 people. Come on. I'm $265 more. I'm, I'll do the math. You don't I'm have to worry donating $10,000. <laughs> Mike, you got a check? <laughs> uh, okay. Come on, let's get to uh, 10,000, folks. You know how to do it. Um, our next guest. Am I right? Yes. And that's our next guest? Yes. He's a rare quadruple threat of writer, player, singer, performer. He is rooted in a kind of Victorian California romanticism. And with the release of his record, Harmony of Passing Light, he joins his peers with the best work of his career. And he's got a great gift for melody, soaring vocals. He's an amazing, impressive musician. Please welcome Brad Brook. soon-to-be-release record, God Save the City. 
a song called Heartbreak of Fools. Uh, record's coming out in October. Thank you so much for having me. That's cool. <laughs> I say yes to that guy. I heard the word beer. What's going on with that? Oh, yeah. So, you know, we have a little extra incentive here for the first 50 people who gave $25. We'll give you a four pack of some local beers. So um, we have Barrel Brothers Fresh Rinse, Hen House IPA, Juncture Tap Room, and 3D Meet the Coneheads. They're all great. Yeah. We do three there wine shows a week and a beer show on Thursday, and there they've all go. been on. So there I... we go. So oh, look at that. All right. 11,330. Well, not. 11,000. Way to go, folks. Yeah, and the good news is once we are off, you can still donate. So don't thank you, don't panic right now. We're still going to be able to take your, your donations. Really appreciate those coming in. Thank you so much. And I want to thank Pat Sabo. It's always a pleasure yeah, hanging sir. with you. And uh, Alan Ramey from Ramey Wines. Always a pleasure hanging with you when you come in and bring wine, too. <laughs> and Joy Sterling from uh, Iron Horse, Horse and uh, yeah. bless you. And she's such a great Democratic person for our county, and we appreciate it. And then there's the guy who was sitting here in a mask. Who was that mask man? <laughs> I'm not sure. Rob Aiken. Rob Aiken? Rob Aiken is his name, and he's a wonderful contributor, and he was volunteering today. Yeah. Very cool. Handsome dude, too. So it is. He should have been in front and I should have been back there. Oh, yeah. but, uh, well, you know. no, no. You know, and Steve is very gracious thanking all of us, but uh, we know darn well that without his participation and helping us out, this would not have uh, been able to be nearly as successful as it is. So, you know, Steve, thank you so very much. Appreciate you. what you continue to do for democracy in this country. Really appreciate it. And we need to get ba you back on the air, too. It's a date. We'll, okay. we'll do that. Yeah. So um, I think it's, a, it's extremely appropriate and fitting um, how we're going to close this out. Um, our next guest was born and raised here in Sonoma County. At 18 years of age, she has recently emerged as a leader and organizer for the Black Lives Matter movement 18. within her 18 years old within her community. Yes. The young activist is currently enrolled at the Santa Rosa Junior College, plans to focus her studies on humanities and political science. She's been an outspoken student act activist, organizing and participating in climate change and civil rights rallies since her early teens. Most recently, she has become a leader in the Black Lives Matter movement, drawing attention to the ongoing fight to end the harassment and unprovoked killing of black Americans. She is also actively promoting voter registration and participation with a particular focus of getting the youth of Sonoma County registered and enthusiastic about casting their votes in the upcoming presidential election. Please welcome Joy Ayadella. As I've just recently turned 18 years old, this year will be my first opportunity to participate in the presidential elections. I want to now encourage anyone that is 18 years or older to register to vote, or to confirm that you registered to vote by the end of October, in order to ensure that you'll also be able to participate in this year's election. And if you're 16 or 17 years old, you can still pre-register to vote now, and you'll automatically become a registered voter upon turning 18. With the elections approaching so quickly this year, I find myself thinking, wow, I've waited my whole life to do this. Though, in a sense, what I truly mean is, we have fought for so long to do this. And by this we, I mean those that look like me. The 15th Amendment will be adopted in 1870, ultimately granting newly freed African American men the right to vote. The 19th Amendment will be passed some decades later in 1920, prohibiting states from denying citizens the right to vote on the basis of sex. This is often said to be the moment that all Americans, men and women alike, would see equal opportunity to vote. However, neither of these amendments would prohibit states from instating discrimination laws, such as poll taxes and literacy tests, which would ultimately keep black citizens from the polls. African Americans ultimately would not have a true grasp on their suffrage until the Voting Rights Act passed in 1968, a hundred years after being granted citizenship and equal protection of the laws. So, yes, I have waited 18 years to do this, but 
In a sense, I have also fought a hundred years to do this, and to now witness the countless ways which our citizens' rights have been threatened in the last four years under our current presidential leader, we truly do not need to see four more. I am a proud Democrat, and I'd like to use my time and energy here today to tell everyone to vote in the 2020 presidential election and to dump Trump. Our current president has threatened the rights of U.S. citizens, revoking workplace protection laws for LGBTQ people as well as for women. He has threatened the rights of our citizens on the basis of religious expression, dehumanized immigrants in our country to the point of normalizing children in cages. This is no longer a political issue, it is a matter of human rights. And with an image of a great American in mind, Trump has always been wrong. The love of power, unfortunately, often trumps the power of love. I believe that in order to succeed, we need to love our people above all else. And I'm a Democrat because I love my people. All right, folks. Demapalooza. I've been honored to be a part of this. As I have said, uh, as a lifelong Democrat, this has been very cool. And thanks to Joy Sterling and Pat Sabo and all the folks who work here at Democratic Headquarters and Alan Ramey from Ramey Wines. We'll see you soon in the studio. Amen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Pat? Uh, listen, this, we could not have, have put this together and carried this off without Chris Smith. So he's the guy Chuck that's Smith. behind it. Chuck Yes, he's my new best <laughs> Chuck, friend. Chuck Smith. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris Smith. Yes, you okay. Know, and, and Chris, at, amazing job, dude. As somebody who does work in this office and uh, occasionally I will volunteer, you know, I ha I'm sorry, I have to mention the names of, of the three people who really keep this going. That would be Val Henshaw, Janet Reynolds and Debbie Dean. They yeah. are behind the scenes and just thank you so much for, for what you have done for this party. So um, with that, like I said, here's the great news also. You can continue to contribute. Um, we will gladly take those donations and uh, keep everything going here. We got 60 plus days to turn this around and to make sure that we win back our country. So all of you out there, thank you, and let's win this in November. Let's do it. Amen. Have a great Sunday evening, everybody. Thanks. <laughs>